Hi, it's Karen at RT Systems, and I want to talk to you today about cables. There are lots and lots of cables out there today, and I'm the same as all the rest of you. I love things that are free or inexpensive, but even more, I like things that work or that I can get help for if it doesn't work right out of the box. Let's look at the cables I have on the desk here. If you will look carefully at the pins at the radio end, you'll see that they all look real similar. This is the RT Systems K4Y cable, and the spacing is the same on this. It's just a different configuration. We didn't do the right angle. I thought it would be better for you to be able to get a hold of when you plug and unplug if it was straight. Just a difference in the molding. And we're going to take these cables one at the time, and I'm going to show you how they behave in the programmer and how they behave on your computer. So you can see what you're up against when you just pick something off the web and order it. We're going to be working with the Bofang UV5R for you to see how these fit in and how they work. And we'll just start at the right here. This is a cable that I had around the house. There's no identifier on it. It plugs into the radio just fine. That's in there. I didn't have to force it. That's in there. Now, when I plug it into my computer, I watch in Device Manager, USB Serial. Hmm, this has hope. Let's go to the Program, Communications, Get Data from Radio, and OK. It's asking me for what COM port it's on, and it's on number 35. And I tell it OK. But see, I had to know that it was COM35 and not that other USB serial port that's there on COM48. If I had picked that, this would not have worked. And lo and behold, I have a working cable that is not the RT Systems USB K4Y. Great, right out of the box. So I unplug this. Turn the radio off, unplug it from the side of the radio. Let's try another one. Here I've got one and it's got a label on it that says MD. Let's plug it in to the side of the radio. And I promise this is plugged into the side of the radio. Plug it into the computer. Turn the radio on. Well, notice, there we go, device manager shifted, but there's nothing here under ports, common LPT. Unknown USB device, device descriptor request failed. Turn the radio off and, and device manager shifts again. And notice the little yellow mark went away, and that description went away. Turn it back on. That is this cable. Whatever's going on inside the head of that cable, relative to the electronics in the radio, this is the report I'm getting. That won't work for programming, not with our program, not with anybody's program. But how would you have known when you ordered the cable from somewhere or if you picked it up off your table saying, oh, this one fits, it'll work. Let's get another one. This one says that it's the USB 74. This is one from RT Systems. I'm going to plug it into the radio, and lo and behold, it fits. 
plug it into the computer. This is all being done with the radio off. Turn the radio on. I get that same description. I'm not going to go back and forth this time. We've seen that. We know that this is not an acceptable cable. Turn it off. Unplug it. Unplug it from the computer. Let's try another one. Plain black, you pick it up, you go, wow, this fits into the holes, which it does. And let's plug it in. Turn the radio on. And we're back again. Unknown USB descriptor. And again, like I said, you can't tell this at all when you buy or look at the cable. Okay, this is the USB 86. Sorry, this is the RT 86. Again, another one from RT Systems. And it works with the Bofang radios. It works with the Bofang DMR radios. Beware, it doesn't work with the Bofang analog radios. And this is the RT Systems USB K4Y. And the thing about this one is I do not yet have it plugged into the radio. And I plugged it into the computer. And notice the computer shifted and it automatically set it up. It is not dependent on the radio, very much like that first cable did. Now I plug it in and turn the radio on and nothing changes in device manager and communications and get data from radio and OK and everything works just fine. And we're up and running and ready to go. There, there are other cables that you can get that will work, but as you see, I had two out of six. So you got about a one in three chance of the cable that you pick working. I'll leave that choice to you. One more thing about these cables. I'm going to plug this cable in. And this is regardless of the radio end that's on it. And your device manager shifts and you get a report like this. This may be a cable that you've used for a long time. You will see this error in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Not all Windows 10 machines, but you will definitely see it in Windows 11. The electronics in this cable are no longer supported. Some agreement between Prolific and Windows, and it's no longer supported. So be aware of that. This cable does not work. And while there are hoops you can jump through to make it work, you will jump through those same hoops every time you want it to work. Realize there are thousands of these in warehouses that are still being shipped. So if you order a generic cable, you don't know what the chipset's going to be before it gets to you and you're liable to see this message. And if you do, you won't be using it. Like I said, unless you know those hoops and you want to jump through them. So remember, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're either right or you've got the wrong cable. 73s.